I need to speak to Caesar! That's a scene from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Lion Archibald and Dave Adams in to review it today. The consensus, Dave, seems to be that it was an awesome movie. Huh? Yes, indeed. This yeah. is yeah. Uh, this is a good one. This is this is uh, well. This, this, I want to go back and see it again to make sure it's as good as I think oh, it okay. is. Yeah. It is uh, maybe the best movie I've seen so far this year. Really? In wow. terms of craftsmanship and script, performances, uh, design the whole, the, across the whole. Uh, the whole spectrum is really, yeah. really fine. The one of the things that I know you guys talk about a lot is it's more than just special effects. There's a plot. There's a story to it, and there's a good story. Oh, behind there's this. It's an amazing story, and it's really relevant to today. Uh, basically, the in the near future, uh, simian flu wipes out basically 90, 95 percent of the world. Uh, this is a little uh, community of uh, humans left in San Francisco. At the same time, this is where uh, Caesar, uh, the the main ape from the origin from the uh, rise of the Planet of the Apes is his tribe is, uh, is, is in the jungles of uh, San Francisco and the human tribe needs to get over to uh, reach the dam to uh, turn the power back on so they, so they can radio for, so the humans can radio for help. Well, obviously because of that there's a standoff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Between the humans and the apes, and it's you know it's it's really weird. That they, they, I've been reading some some reviews, and they, some people are saying it's a uh, I guess a parallel to like Israel and Palestine. Really? And yes, it, indeed. It, you know, it's, it's quite clearly uh, intending to make those con those connections. Wow. Trust between enemies is yeah. the theme of the film. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Are there good guys and bad guys? Do we root for one side or the other? No, we root for both sides. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. root for peace. Yeah. We root yeah. for peace. Did but we have to see the first one to understand what's going on in this one? Not necessarily. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't think there, there, there's there's a little callback to to the first one, but for for the most part, I mean, it, it's it's a pretty well self-contained uh, movie in itself. Yeah, yeah uh, the, I think so. The one thing that I, I really that we talked about this is uh, Andy Serkis, uh, the the gentleman who plays Caesar and he plays Gollum in the Lord of the Rings movie. It's definitely about time that he gets recognized for his work because wow. he was amazing in this movie. And yeah. you know, they they say they talk about um, acting and acting through your eyes, so you're through your eyes, and he is. He's yeah. probably the best on the planet in doing that right now. As you might say, yeah. Yeah, yeah I did not know that. He played Gollum as well. Yes. Huh? yes. Well, that's it, interesting. It's quite amazing. The, um, the special effects, uh, the digital effects, are just superb in this yeah. one. Just absolutely superb. They're, 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 uh, they're, they're no, they're, they're it, we're not aware, at least I wasn't, that, that we're watching special effects. This is yeah. what we're seeing. They're yeah. that good. Um, it really is yeah. quite a it's splendid film. You know, what I hear from a lot of people that are my age or older is that well, it doesn't compare at all to the I like the original ones. Is it fair to even try to compare it to the Charles? Well, there Heston are references series? to those of us who are geeky about Planet <laughs> of the Apes movies. Right. I've seen most all of them. Uh, there are references in kind of subtle uh, yeah. in this one too, all the way back to the Charlton Heston yeah. 1968 film, uh, with some of the character names. Maurice is the orangutan. Yeah. Uh, he's named for Maurice Evans, who was one of the apes in the first movie. Okay. Is it? It's PG-13. How intense is this for what? What age do you think we're we're safe? Yeah, it's, 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 it is actually a really intense movie. Yeah. Um, it's you know be, because it's it's a, a war, even a, a more or less an anti-war movie. Um, yes, there, indeed. There, you're there, right. there, there are movie there there are some scenes that are really intense in terms of okay. its violence. There is an F bomb that is dropped at okay. one point. Um, but I, you know, in terms of what what the story is bringing to the table and how relevant it is to today, I, you know, it would I, I I would I would definitely recommend it, like anyone to see it. I mean, kid, older, kid, kids, older kids will get it. Yeah, okay. they'll, they'll a, get it. For a movie sure. you want to talk about afterwards? Okay. Yeah. Our system of Lennies would give it how many Lennies? Five. Five out of it's, five. It, it, it's uh, it's probably the second or third best movie I've seen all year. Excellent. Final mm -hmm. words, Dave. And here they come. Planet of the Apes is smart and compelling. Dawn Chapter Two. It's artful storytelling. All right. Says it all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. Sure. We'll be back right after this.